sheathing is all done for the walls at least it's taped and fully installed and the overhang jacks are in place and in a nice straight line Next step is to mark the locations for the furring strips and overhang jacks on the eave side. The furring strips are those two by fours on the flat that go straight up the roof, and the overhang jacks are two by fours on the edge there. So we're gonna be doing that every 24 inches all the way across the barn, and we just gotta get a tape measure up there to mark all the locations. We'll do it again at the top purlin way up there. So with all those located, we can start pulling up all the furring strips and securing them in place. Robert finished installing the furring strips last night and we're ready today to do the fascia, both the fascia on the eave here and the fascia up the rakes. Shouldn't take too long to do. All the fascia has been put through the table saw with a 412 on each of the edges and we're just gonna throw it up there, cut it to size and nail it in place. The rakes are a little more complex. We cut the boards a little too short so we're gonna need to mess with them a little bit but it shouldn't be too bad. Also, the detail up here is always a little complex. Here we're gonna have to kind of mess with a little piece there and try to get it to fit and be stable. I'm not exactly sure what that's gonna look like until we're ready to do it. So we screwed up a couple times with this. For one, my SketchUp drawing was wrong and I gave Robert a cut list that had him cut this way too short. Also, there's no real great way to secure this purely vertical thing to something that's got a 412 pitch to it. 
So we cut a basically, we cut a couple door stops <laughs> and stuffed that in there and it seems to have worked. It's a silly amount of structural screws to hold this very, very dumb corner together, but we've done so quite nicely. It is solid. I mean, very solid. With all the fascia on, I can lag in the overhang jacks. It's the same process as on the office side where we drilled through the LSL edge purlin foam and sheathing and preloaded legs all the way through. So now I just have to go through, tighten up those legs, not too tight, we'll crush the sheathing and foam, but tighten them up enough to add some extra structural support to that overhang. We're done placing sheathing for now. Robert's still rolling out the bit that we have up there. Let's go up and take a look. In three days, we're having our wood boiler delivered. It's a central boiler, classic edge 760. So it's a big one. We will have to get it into that space somehow there. Unfortunately, they deliver it using a hoist. So I'm hoping they can set it down on the tractor then i can tractor it onto the pad and then they can stick the hoist through the roof lift it and i can slide the forks out <laughs> not sure if it'll work but for now we're going to leave that little bit open while robert's finishing up the rolling i'm going to start cutting the drip edge for this roof let's get you a bed so you're not in the dark yeah come on How's that? Is that better?
So this is where we're going to stop for now. We have the whole first course of underlayment on, half the second course, and maybe a third of the third. And the sheathing, you know, as you saw, goes quite a bit over. Once we get the boiler in place, we're gonna come back and finish all this. It shouldn't take so long. As of now, I think we're going to enjoy this beautiful summer day. By summer, I mean April 2nd and still very cold.